Hey everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this video we're doing something completely different. We're not looking at a rock and roll song, but we are looking at a song that might fall into the pop category, rock and pop mandolin. Let me explain. This song is called The Entertainer, and it dates way back to the early 20th century, written by Scott Joplin, in and around 1902. Now, where does it fall into the pop music category? Well, it's been a pop hit twice over the course of its uh, time, and early in the 1920s, I believe, in the ragtime era, it was a popular song. But even more so, it was revived in the 1970s as the theme song for the movie The Sting with Paul Newman and Robert Redford. That's right, The Entertainer became a huge pop uh, hit back in the 1970s. In fact, I think it reached number three on the Billboard charts. So, yes, it was a pop hit, so it does qualify as a rock and pop mandolin song. And it's just really fun to play, too. There's lots of stuff for you going from right at the top of the neck right down to the bottom. I will show you all of that coming up in a few minutes. But first, a little bit of business here on the channel. Thanks very much for tuning in. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that little red subscriber button on the way out, lower right corner of your screen. It really helps to continue this channel growing and growing we have been. And thanks very much if you are a returning and satisfied subscriber. We really appreciate your support. But if you want to show us a little more love, you can click on one of those links down below in the description box. We have a lot of things down there for you, including links to my, well, the products that I endorse from Sweetwater and Amazon. You can pick some of those up and help out the channel. You can also check out my Rock and Pop Mandolin video lessons. Those are still only $29.95. Uh, you can learn to play mandolin right from beginner to intermediate level for the cost of basically one lesson with a live teacher. Finally, if you're looking for tab for mandolin songs, pop and rock mandolin songs, including this one, The Entertainer, check out my Patreon link down below. For as little as $5 a month, you can become a member of our Patreon team and gain access to, well, nearly 100 uh, rock and pop mandolin tabs over there on the Patreon site. Many of those songs are not available anywhere else on the internet, so there you go. Some of them are exclusive for you that I've done tabs for mandolin songs. You can get them at our Patreon channel. Well, that's enough business. Let's take a look at this really cool pop classic that goes way back to 1902. It's called The Entertainer for Mandolin here on RPM. Okay, The Entertainer for Mandolin. I'm going to show you the mandolin version of this tune. Of course, it was originally done for piano, a ragtime classic. So you've got the left and right hands working together. Basically for mandolin, I'm going to show you the right hand part from the piano with a few little pickup notes thrown in as well. So basically what I'm going to teach you here is the melody part to this song, all right? And, you know, if you're accompanying a guitar player, uh, maybe they can handle some of the bass licks that usually are played uh, by the left hand on the piano. But the mandolin part, the melody is really cool as well. So let's get into it, all right? And by the way, once again, if you want to follow along with this, I really recommend you get the tab for this tune because there's a lot of intricate notes here that I'm about to show you. If you get that tab over on my Patreon site, you can follow along. In fact, I'll give you a second now to go over to Patreon and do it. Pause the video here and get yourself that mandolin tab, all right? Okay, so I hope you've gotten yourself the mandolin tabs for this song because you might need them when we do stuff like this, right? All right, so what am I doing there? Well, I'm way up here on the 10 to the 12th fret of the E string to start off with. And in fact, this song is so cool because it starts off almost at the high end of the mandolin and ends up right at the bottom end with this opening lick. It's really cool, all right? And it's kind of repetitive as well. It's repeating octave phrases here. All right, so the first phrase goes like this. I'm doing it really slowly for you here. Okay, so you're going 10 to 12, then you're skipping down to eight to 10 on the next string down. So on the high E string, 10, 12, and then 8, 12 on the A string there. Like that, a little jump down, okay? So once again, 
And then you're going seven to 10. Seven on the E and 10 on the A now. So it's 10, 12, 8, 12, 7, 10. And slowly the whole lick. All right, and I'm doing it all with down strokes with the right hand. You can do it with up and down strokes as well if you want, but I find it works easier for me and a little more accurately if I just do it with down strokes like this. Now, the fingering technique, I've used different fingers for getting these notes. You can use those two, but it's a little bit easier, I think, if you start off with your second and third fingers because you're going to have to go down to that lick there, that note there, right? So, like that, see? You've already got your first finger in the position there on the eighth fret. Okay, once again, so it's... Right, so you're... That's jumping down from the seventh to the tenth fret. Now, that same lick is just moved down an octave and played here. It's the same kind of pattern, all right? So, again, down strokes all. So I'm going from the fifth to the seventh. And then three to seven. So this is five, seven on the A string now. Three A and then seven on the D string, right? So, and then you're going two, five, two on the A string, five on the D. So once again, okay, so the two licks together. You gotta jump way down and again, using down strokes. Okay, that's the first two. Now the last lick goes. Okay, so that's open D to the second fret, and then five two on your G string. So, and then four two one open. Okay, you see that? Okay, one more time. Then you're hitting that little G chord up there, okay? So what's that? Well, that is the ninth fret of your D string, 10th fret of the A, and just once. It's the same notes actually as your G chord down here. I'm just playing it up high so you can, you can kind of do that little. So one more time through the intro. And that's it, that's the introduction to this song. Okay, next up is the little signature lick that's played throughout the song. It goes like this. Okay, so what's that? Well, it starts off with here on your D string. It goes into a C chord, all right? That's a C chord. You know that C chord voicing, that basic cowboy chord voicing from the second fret here of the D and the third fret of the A. But I'm sliding into it. I'm using a little sort of bluegrassy move here. All right, so open one, two, right? And then hitting that third fret on your A string, all right? And then you just go between those two notes for a few patterns or a few parts of this pattern. You got it? And again, you can use different fingers here. You can slide it, you can go, that sounds pretty cool. Or you can just use your regular fingers like that. It doesn't really matter. Or you can pick the notes like that. It doesn't really matter as long as you get that that little pattern there. Okay, next you're going to go Okay, so what's that? Well, that's from the C note, which is your third fret of the A. So the first time you're going to go 3 5 6 open. And then the next time you're going to skip that 6. Okay, so you're going to go you see that? Three, five, six, open, and then three, five, open. You see? 
like that. And then you come in with two, five, three. And that's the tricky part here, because you're, you're staying in this, and then you're going back, kind of an enclosure on that C note there. So one more time. You see that? And again, the first time through, I was using all down strokes again, but this time, that last time right there, I used up and down strokes. It really doesn't matter, whatever you like. I'll do all down strokes here this time. Okay, and up and down strokes. I think if you all, if you do down strokes, you're getting a little more of an attack to it. You see, it's a little, little stronger if you do all down strokes. So maybe that's best. All right, so after that, you do this again. But now you're gonna come down. Okay, so you're going open, open here on the A, then five, four on the D. And then back to open again. And then open, so like that. So open, five, four, open, three. And then open E there. Okay, so one more time slowly. You see what I'm doing there? So open, five, four, open, three, open. So one more time. And then you come back down after you hit that open, like this. So you're going, so five, three, open, five. Okay, so that's, that's like this. And then I do a little pickup into the next part of the phrase. So that's just an open G and the second fret A note, all right? That's kind of like mimicking the uh, bass notes in the original song. So here we go, the whole little riff pattern one more time. Okay, so that's the third time through. It's the same as your first time through. Now, the final time you do. All right, so what's that? Well, that's. So you're going three, five, seven, okay? And that seven note there is an E note. You could play that open string like before, but for this part of the pattern, I like using the closed notes. It's just easier to kind of make them more staccato and cut them off a little bit easier. So like this. So. And the second time, so like that. Okay, so you're gonna go, you're gonna catch that high seven there like that. You see that? Okay. And then you're sliding down again to that two, five, three enclosure again, just like you did before. Okay, so that whole pattern all the way through. And you can finish that off into a C chord like that, if you like, or you could do it like this. Either one of those notes works. So that C chord, right, is just your basic C, fifth fret here of the G string, second fret of your D, and third fret of your A string. So I'm just hitting those two notes separately. So that is the signature lick to this song. All right, now we're moving on to a third part of the song, which goes like this. All 
okay, and so on, all right? I'll show you the whole part here in a minute. So it starts off with, right? So you're going two, three, four, five, all right? All chromatic on your D string there. So, and then you're catching that open A string. So, again, all down strokes that I'm doing here, just all down strokes to give you more attack. Okay, so twice through that, then you hit that high E string, nice little kind of a C arpeggio there, okay? So open three on the A string, and then five on your D string. So one more time, this part. And then this. Now you're going up to the A string. So like that. So what is that? Well, that's A, open, two, three, five, and to the open E, all right? Like that, okay? All right, so let's take it from the beginning of this part. Slow, I'll do it really slowly for you. Okay, that one A string part again. So you're just going A, two, three, five, open, five, three. Okay, so. Okay, so one more time. Can you get that? Now we're gonna jump up to the high E string. Like that, okay, so we're gonna go like this. Okay. So, from there, okay, so that's open, one, three, five. That's a really cool lick. You're going to come back with open, one, two, three. So, one more time, very slowly. So... Like that, okay? So the first time you're going open one, three, five. Then the second time you're going open one, two, three. So one more time from that A string part. And then you're going that part, you're gonna repeat that twice. So that's open one, two, three, five, three, five, three. Now you're gonna slide up. You're gonna slide up to the five, six to the seven. And you're gonna do a real cool staccato little lick. Okay, so just like that. It's another chromatic lick. Okay, and then, then you're gonna come down five, two, five, like that. You see that? One more time from that A string lick. And then after that, I do a little pickup thing there as well. So I'm going down to the fourth uh, and the third frets of your D string. So, so like this. Right, and then you're doing that part again. So one more time all the way through up until there, it goes. Okay, there we are now. And finally, you're doing this. And then you're jumping up which is really cool, all right? So you're starting here, chromatically, two, three, four, five, open five. Then you're jumping up here. Same lick, just an octave higher, okay? So, you see, like that. So that's open, one, two, three, five, three. Okay, so. 
And then again, that lick we saw earlier, which is the open E to the C to the G. So it's open three, five, like that. Really nice little arpeggio in C. So this part, and then you're doing that A part again. Okay, open, two, three, four, five, right? Open, two, three, five, sorry, open, five, three. And then he throws in a little five, three again. Okay, so one more time, that last part. And then finally, five, four, five, five, four, five, and then three, open three. And a couple times you do that. And then you're going, then you're going five, three, open three. One more time, it goes. And then five, four, five, three, open three, open three. So then here, five, three, open three, and then back down again. So like that, five, three, open three, open three, five. And then, so that's open A, three, E, five, three. So that last part finally goes like this one more time. And I finish it off. You could finish it off like that, or you can do, if you can get that C chord in there. So that's the fifth fret of your D string and ending on that C note right there, fifth fret of your G. And you could make a C chord with it like that if you want. That's five, five, seven, eight. Okay, that's it. That is the Entertainer by Scott Joplin, part one, as they pointed out. There are two more complicated parts of this tune as well if you listen to the original. Now, thanks very much for tuning in. If you're looking for tab for this tune, as I mentioned before, check it out. I've tabbed out the first part of this song over on Patreon, and you can download that and use it to help you learn this tune. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscriber button. Thanks very much for tuning into this video once again. Check out other ones on this channel, Rock and Pop Mandolin. Music